Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that just came out in the Washington Post. Trump campaign advisor admitted to lying about Russian contacts. I'm telling you, they are going to start singing like birds, <laughs> okay? They are going to let the cat all the way out the bag because, you know, they, <laughs> these people are in a lot of trouble. You know, they could potentially be jailed. If they got charges on them, they're in serious trouble. You know, and Trump is still out on Twitter talking about Hillary and Obama and all this, trying his best to deflect and his best effort is not working. It is just not working. George Papadopoulos, a former campaign advisor to Trump, pleaded guilty earlier this month to lying to federal officials about contacts he had with people he believed had ties to the Russian government while he was affiliated with Trump's campaign. Papadopoulos, who was named by Trump in March 2016 as a foreign policy advisor to the campaign, was first charged under SEAL in July and ultimately pleaded guilty in October to lying to federal agents investigating Russian interference in the presidential election. You guys, Trump, th this whole administration is guilty. I, I really do believe that. We'll see how the outcome is. According to court papers released Monday, those contacts included an unnamed overseas professor whom Papadopoulos met in Italy in March, the same month he joined the campaign. So Trump had these people going all over the damn place. In April 2016, the professor told him the Russian government had dirt on the Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, including thousands of Clinton's emails. You know, all of these people are underhanded and dirty. Like I said before, neither side can be trusted. And we got a proven history in this country that they can't be trusted. That conversation occurred two months before the Democratic National Committee revealed it had been hacked and believed Russians were behind the attack. It also came about a month after an email account belonging to Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, was targeted with a phishing attempt that may have led to the hack of his emails. Podesta's emails were released by WikiLeaks in October. Papadopoulos, who was arrested when he arrived in Dooley's airport on July 27th, signed a plea agreement that indicates he is cooperating with special prosecutor Robert S. Mueller III filing show. Yeah, he's singing like a canary. I'm telling you, he, they they going to reveal everything. <laughs> this is why Trump is all over Twitter, trying his best to get you to look at Obama, look at Hillary, look at the Democrats, look at this, look at that. And it's just not working. It's just not working. The charge against him indicates that Mueller is deeply examining any links between Trump's aides and Russian officials as part of his probe into possible um, coordination between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. Oh, it's there. This man ain't acting out on Twitter for no reason, y'all. And, you know, that's one thing. He's a very reckless person. All right, here's a video. I'm going to go ahead and play the video. Even perhaps we heard you might be announcing your foreign policy advisory team soon, if there's anything we are going to be that. doing that. In fact, uh, very soon, I'd say during the week, we'll be announcing some, some names. It'll always grow. Any that you can start off with this morning with us? Well, 
you know, I hadn't thought in terms of doing it. If you want, I could give you some of the names. I, I wouldn't be delighted. I wouldn't mind. Um, do you have that list? I'll be a little more accurate with it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Take notes. Waleed Ferris, who you probably know, uh, PhD advisor to the Asa Representatives Caucus, and uh, is a counterterrorism expert. Carter Page, PhD. Uh, George Papadopoulos, uh, he's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. Uh, the Honorable Joe Schmitz, uh, Inspector General, Department of Defense. Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg, and I have quite a few more, but that's a, that's a group of, of some of the people uh, that we are, that we're dealing with. We have uh, many other people in different aspects of what we do, but that's a pretty representative group. Okay. This is going to be an interesting week, y'all. This is going to be an interesting week. It's going to be a lot coming out from these aides and these campaign workers that was deeply entrenched with Trump. And you can best believe, I don't care what this man does, all the deflecting he does, I really truly believe he knows everything from start to finish on what happened between Trump's campaign and the Russians. Trump knows everything. There's a lot of people that knows everything from start to finish. I have no doubt about that. And at this point, you really can't trust anything Trump says. This man is just never going to tell the truth. And the fact that he obstructed investigations in the past, fired people, that's very telling. There's a lot of things he don't want to come out. And ladies and gentlemen, when those indictments came down and, you know, the people, Manafort, everybody knew he was going to get served. I don't think there was too many people that didn't know. They're going to tell everything in order to save their ass, you know. So they have two, Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, which were charged with 12 count indictment. And, and they won't tell all. You watch. I, I don't think there's too many that are so loyal that they're going to go down for Trump like that. I really don't think they are that loyal to that man. I really don't. But this is going to be interesting, y'all. This is probably going to be the biggest White House scandal of our time in the 21st century. Please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can make a donation to my channel, please do. And I will leave the link to this article in the description box. Peace, family.